So we need... It's far from over. We need to see... <laughs> yeah, it's far from over. I knew when we got to the lighter weights, it would go... 141... Uh, I'm sorry, go ahead, RJ. Well, now another one of the key marquee matchups of the evening. Number one ranked national champion Matt Dodgen from Central Oklahoma against three-time All-American ranked number four Roderick Radcliffe. Here we go. The Let's go. Let's go. Let's now, go. This, this is uh, one of those matches that you starred. You asked for us this to look out for. Well, this is again one of the the, the 184-pound match and this 141-pound one. Now that surprised me a little bit that Dodging comes out and takes that shot right away. Last night, I watched him last night. He's a very defensive wrestler, a counter wrestler. As some would say, he sits back and waits for you to make a mistake. A red, face, Radcliffe man. on the Stay other the side, uh, his, his strength is his speed. I wouldn't be surprised that he's got a duck under, usually to the left side. It's just very impressive. Matt Dodging, of course, a twin brother of Mark who wrestled at 125. Both out of uh, Ponca City, Oklahoma. In fact, they've recorded a CD together. That's right. I, I heard that uh, they're, they're quite the musicians. Dodge and beat number three ranked Gabe Ray of, of Kearney last night by a score of three to one. Ray uh, took a shot right at the end of the period and Dodge and able to spin around to get the takedown. They were looked like they were headed into overtime. Before Dodging got circle, that takedown. Circle. These two circle red. Dodging and Radcliffe wrestled last year. Dodging coming out on top of that one. I don't uh, recall what the score was, but I know Dodging won the match. In the center, wrestling in the we'll middle. Set man. It up again, in of course. Uh, Radcliffe coming out of uh, Red Stick, Louisiana, better known as Bethel Rouge. First year out of high school, he went to Grambling State, who doesn't even have a wrestling program, and Offense, decided he guys. missed it too Offense. much, and ended up up here in Omaha. Long ways from home. Yeah, well, you know, right. Long, cold way from home. <laughs> yeah, because even the coldest, at its coldest, Louisiana is at its cold as we get here. And they Warning move it red. outside again. Warning red. Stall warning against Radcliffe. Official Tom Vincentini feels he's backing out a little too much, not circling into the middle. Radcliffe, a three-time state champ in high school. He's at 93 career victories, uh, trying to reach that 100 plateau. Probably have about 15 matches left on the year. Should be able to reach that. Man, they're just dancing right now. Just to tell you the, the stand kind of bounce, strength. Stand bounce. Kind of the strength. What's the problem? You want time? You want time? Let's go. The strength and depth of the Central Oklahoma team and dodging a national champ last year in 2001 was actually beat out of the off, out of the starting spot by Cole Province, who we just saw. That's the, right. The other national champ at 133, they actually split through the year and, and Province ended up winning the, the starting spot and was, went on to be a national Get out champ. Out of his face. Somebody has to make a move here, and as we say, Radcliffe already has a stall warning on him, so he can't get another one or else he'll give up a point. Dodgen went to Iowa Central Community College in Fort Dodge, Iowa for a year before heading back down to Oklahoma. Fort John, Iowa Central coached by a former Maverick, Mark Ostrander. Be the first you read you know, red down. A number of ex Mavericks. I, I, well, there was, there was, there was just an article in the Omaha World Herald last year about that. I think it's it's somewhere in the neighborhood of 60 wrestlers like that, yeah. that are coaching. No, 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 no. Oh, close to a near fall situation for Dodging. Those ex Mavericks are coaching all over. Oh, he's got that hat pretty deep. One. Radcliffe's in trouble. He's getting near fall. He's going to get a two-point two near points. fall out of that. This is where you don't want to be against the Dodgins, is that's on the bottom. Twin brother Mark is in the far corner top. helping his brother. He's yelling out instructions and encouragement. The Mavericks to have any hope of winning this duel in that number one ranking. They've got to win the next two matches. 
Break, just break down the whistle. You got that? Well, we, we talked about we talked about the tie last week against North Dakota State. Yes, if the Mavericks would win the next two matches by decision, we'd have a tie at 18-18. But the criteria there's a reversal by Radcliffe to tie it up two to two. But we, if we did end up in a tie. Central Oklahoma would win because of that Run. fall in the, in the first match. That's right. Well, that's the first criteria. Yep. Our first criteria. Tied 2-2, two to two, 45 seconds here to go in the second period. Riding time, not a factor at this point. Dodging has 42 seconds of riding time built up. Out of the face. Boy, Tom Vincentini has said that a lot tonight. Not offense just in this match. Offense. But to no avail, because right. they keep right. doing it. They'll do it right. He can say it all he wants, but they're going to keep doing it. Coming down to the end of this second period. There's that duck under attempt by Radcliffe. I think uh, as much as these two teams see each other over the years, I think Break on the whistle, guys. I think everybody in the country knows that Roger Grantham has got a great duck under. A lot of times nobody can stop he it, but uh, they know it's he coming. If they can, if they can stop it. Then... Well, he's got the perfect shape for that stay move, set, too. Stay I set, mean, he's, yes, not, he's, he's very tall. Yeah, he's yeah. short, he's explosive. Come on, come on. He's going to cut dodge and loose. Now he trails four to two. He needs a takedown just to tie it. Getting down to the final minute 30 of this match. Radcliffe's gonna really have to start opening up here because again, Dodgen's a very defensive wrestler. He's not gonna make any mistakes. Off his stroke. Your official Tom Vincentini warning Dodging to stay off the throat of Radcliffe. Have we had a, any potentially dangerous holes called it all tonight? I don't think so. No, I don't, I don't think, now that you mention it, I don't think we've seen any. He's chipping and what many times as you call it extracurricular activity we've had. Warning green. There's a stall well, warning against Dodgen. So now they both have a stall warning. So coming down to the final 50 oh, seconds God. of this match. Probably not enough time for that to be a big factor in the match. 45 seconds. Again, be watching for the Radcliffe duck under. I'm sure he's looking for it. Offense, man, offense. Half a minute to go. At the same time, I'm, I'm sure Dodgen's looking for it too. There's injury timeout by Radcliffe. Start the clock! Injury time. Yeah, well, you might as well take your time now. If well, now that, you, the now that you've it's taken the, the injury time, time yep. you might as well. It's the first time. You might as well use it, especially with only 25 seconds to go. You out of bounds without asking, that's a point. That's a match point. Stay in bounds. Stay in bounds. Time. Yeah, you can tell Dodgen's waiting for that duck on here. Yeah, he's, doing, he's, he's blocking it off. That's one. There's another stall call. It's four to two now. A takedown would give Radcliffe the win. But at that point, not enough time. Not so enough final time. score of four to three. Hands, men. Go. Matt Dodgen, the national champ from Central Oklahoma, retains his number one ranking. Yes, sir. I just told him, stay in bounds. Just stay in bounds. That's all. Yes sir. Yes sir. yes, sir. yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I didn't need to use any tone. I just tell him, stay in bounds. That's all I want him to do. Okay? Yeah.